Get a check up, walk in the building, I feel like the man Niggas be hating, I know that they fans But what a state, they know who I am How you going up, believe me, your man Yeah, you feel like you both Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we have another great video We have another great video. So in today's video as y'all can see by the title The title of today's video is going to be if you hate the way you dress watch this video now recently I did a video on my channel I think the title was like if you hate all your clothes watch this video and that video did pretty decent so I figured I might as well make another version of that video just change the concept of the video so in today's video like I said the title of the video is gonna be if you hate the way you dress watch this video so if you're new you like fashion you like art you like music and you just like any aspect of life go ahead and hit the red subscribe but also leave a like down below so more people that like fashion can get recommended to the channel and they can join you on this new journey and they can also join me on this new journey and i know i've been mad consistent it's consistent time to build it but go tap in on the instagram because i will be dropping some play soon we're gonna get more mad consistent on the ground as well so without further ado i don't want to talk y'all heads out too much we're gonna go in the house straight into today's video to get straight into it so for my first corner my first corner is going to be finding your style now i know this one is mad cliche y'all done seen billions of videos on youtube on people telling you how to find your style this and that how to find your dream wardrobe but i'm here to tell you that's not what this video is about because i've been telling y'all in recent videos it's going to be mad impossible for another person to constantly tell you how to find your style you got to find your own style you so that's not what this video is for. But like I said, for my first pointer, my first pointer is going to be finding your style. Because now look, if y'all personally do not have a style, it's gonna be harder to know if you actually like your clothes or not. Because one, you don't know if you have a style or not. So that's what I'm saying. Like for y'all to figure out if you actually like pieces in your wardrobe and if these pieces will actually work with what you're going towards, you're going to have to find a style. Now you can find your style plenty of different ways. You can use Instagram. You can use Pinterest. You can just use the social media all over the social media. Y'all can find inspiration. But like I told y'all in my last video, when you find inspiration, bro, don't get too in tune to the pieces that they're wearing. See if that's some see if there's certain stuff in people's outfits that y'all like and then y'all can take these certain pieces from people's outfits and start adding it into your outfits and start mixing and matching and styling it different ways to come up with your style because i guarantee you that process is going to be a lot more fun and better for you instead of you just sitting right here copying somebody else just because they inspired you now i know it's hard when you first get into fashion and you really want to find a style and do all this it's hard for y'all not to want to copy one of y'all favorite fashion influencers we've all been there so i know it's hard but if y'all want to better yourself and find y'all own personal style and you don't want to look like somebody else bro i'm telling y'all bro you can get inspired by some of y'all favorite fashion influencers but while y'all are getting inspired by these fashion influencers try to take certain pieces from them and style them your own way and at the end of the day bro you will start to like how you dress oh that y'all know where y'all want y'all style to head because y'all found some inspiration what do you do next i'm about to tell y'all what to do next so after y'all find where y'all want y'all personal style to head and y'all find this inspiration what i need y'all to do i need y'all to go to y'all closet go to y'all clothing racks go to your clothing bins whatever y'all have y'all clothes and and find the clothes that resonate to you the most now after y'all find the clothes that resonate to you the most a lot of fashion content creators will tell y'all to put those on one side and then put the clothes that don't resonate to you or the clothes that you're not wearing on the other side so you can get rid of them well in reality i'm here to tell y'all that's not indeed true. I feel as if you shouldn't get rid of all the clothes that's not resonating to you right now because there's reasons why you shouldn't get rid of every single clothes that's not resonating to you because how do you know in the near future if you got rid of something, how do you not know if you may not want that later in life and you probably can't find the exact same piece that you just got rid of? Like that doesn't happen to me a billion times. That's why I'm telling y'all, bro, when you find clothes that resonate to you, you keep those clothes in your wardrobe and then you keep some pieces that you like but you're not wearing as much because 
like I told y'all, bro, y'all have already been on this route to finding your style because you found some inspiration, all that. But later on, once you start to actually pick up your style and you actually like how your style is going, then you can start trying to add these clothes that don't really resonate to you that much, but you like this piece, it just doesn't too much resonate to you. You can start finding out different ways to style it and add it in to your style. So that's what I'm saying, like, go to y'all closet, find the clothes that resonate to you the most, and we already know y'all are gonna keep those pieces, right? Then you wanna go to the clothes that don't resonate to you the most and clothes that you like, but you don't know too much into keeping and then you want to put those put those clothes in like the middle so then you can know later on i'm gonna come back to these add these into my style once my style starts to pick up and then the ones for show that you know you do not like or you're trying to get rid of or that just will never resonate with you then you can give give them away take them to the thrift do whatever you want with them burn them throw them in the trash just do whatever you want with those clothes i would suggest y'all take it to the thrift because whatever is a tr not something that you like bro could be treasured for another man if that makes sense like just because you don't like a certain piece and it's not working with you or resonating with you does not mean somebody else cannot go in and purchase that piece and add it into their wardrobe because in fashion bro that's what fashion is all about it's about you living your life and having fun but you can also help other folks with their fashion with their fashion sense if you get rid of some pieces that you know for a fact is not resonating with you and you will never wear, bro. That's going to help somebody else find their style as well. And that is the goal. All right, y'all. So for my next tip on why y'all do not like the way you dress is you got to step out your comfort zone. Like y'all know there are some times when y'all get mad comfortable with things and y'all just want to stick to that route and y'all don't want to change it well in reality as time goes on eventually you're going to start to get tired of that style but you don't want to change it because that's the only thing that you that's the only thing that you like like like, like i've been saying in recent videos bro that was me a year ago bro i was in the same position that y'all are in bro i was stuck with wearing skinny jeans like every single outfit that i put on had a pair of skinny jeans like i kid you not i didn't want to give the skinny jeans up and then at the, I got to a point to where I was like, I really do not even like the way I dress anymore, bro. This is getting repetitive. Too many people on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all over the world is wearing the same exact outfits. And I'm like, that's not me, bro. That's not my personal style. I gotta come up about my comfort zone. And like I told y'all, bro, I came about my comfort zone recently and I started adding more of the flared pants into my wardrobe and like I said by the flared pants is pretty much taking over my wardrobe because I feel like the flared pants are more me and I like how the flared pants just works with my wardrobe at the moment because like I've told y'all in recent videos my style is constantly evolving at a rapid rate and the only reason my, my style was is constantly evolving at a rapid rate is because I took the initiative to come out my comfort zone and try different things that I never thought that I was gonna wear because I was that one a year ago saying I'm never gonna wear them baggy ass pants I'm not gonna wear these baggy cargos I'm not gonna wear these flared pants I'm only gonna stick with my skinnies because that was the route when in reality bro my style was not evolving and my style was looking too repetitive because like I told y'all bro too many people on Instagram and TikTok are wearing skinny jeans and and I'm not throwing y'all folks down that wear the skinnies there's nothing wrong with wearing skinnies because I still rock my skinnies from time to time again but I feel like bro if you're just throwing skinny jeans on with every outfit you cannot dress bro come on bro like you cannot dress bro like y'all have to find different ways to style outfits that's where you're really gonna find a style and really see if you know how to dress if you can style other things that you know you wouldn't wear like let's say Skechers for example if you don't like Skechers, bro. You don't like Skechers, but if you try them, bro, how do you know you might not? You might come out with a whole different style, and that might be you, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all got to try different things that y'all never think that y'all would try, and y'all got to come up out that comfort zone, bro. Because once y'all come up out that comfort zone, everything's going to start coming into place. Because God, it's like God is giving y'all a message, bro. If you stay 
the same and you don't make changes, ain't nothing gonna change. That resonates in real life. Like your style is not gonna change or constantly evolve at a rapid rate if you're not coming out of your comfort zone and changing different things. Let's use YouTube for an example. Like, let's say you're doing the same old videos and your videos are getting no views or nothing. If you don't up the quality on your videos, you don't post more videos, you don't change the way you go about your videos, you don't put more work in, bro, nothing's gonna change. That's the same thing with fashion. Like, people think that finding a style is easy when in reality, finding a style is actually hard and you actually have to put work in to finding your style if you wanna get to where you're going. That's basically with anything that y'all want to do in life clothing brands youtube you want to uh you want to do a interior design business just whatever y'all want to do in real life bro y'all gonna have to put that time into it y'all gonna have to come up out y'all comfort zone and start doing different things that y'all never thought that y'all would do and like i said bro that goes back to your wardrobe because i was in the same position that y'all are in right now a year ago when i didn't want to step out my comfort zone change anything that i was wearing i was wearing the same fits over and over again. Now, that leads me into my next point about wearing the same fits over and over again. If y'all didn't realize, I did a video like a week or two ago on my channel where I was talking about personal uniform. So if y'all wanna tap into that video, after y'all watch this video, go tap into that video. But, like I was saying, that leading me into my next point, finding a personal uniform. Now, if y'all find a personal uniform for your style, bro, I guarantee you, at the end of the day, you're gonna love how you dress. And if y'all don't know what finding a personal uniform is, finding a personal uniform is basically you buying clothes that you're gonna wear over and over again. Over and over again, just style it a million different ways. That's my definition to personal uniform. Like I said, I pretty much have a personal uniform, which part of my personal uniform is my Ranger Cartel flared denim, bro. Like, I kid y'all not. I wear these things probably three times out of the week. Like, if y'all see, if y'all see the videos that I'm filming recently, if when y'all see B rolls, y'all see a lot of B rolls with my Ranger Cartel flared denim, and y'all see a lot of B rolls with my Basket Case Gallery flared denim. Because those two pants right there are my two go tos when it comes to my style, right? Now, so that is my personal uniform. And I really figure like I really feel like my personal uniform really helped me find the way that I want to dress. It helped me come out by that comfort zone. It also it just changed a lot for me in the last six months. And I'm actually happy that I decided to come up out my comfort zone, find me a personal uniform. Because like I said, bro, I don't care how much how many times I wear a piece. I paid for the piece, so I'm gonna wear this piece as many times as I want. I'm just gonna style it a million different ways, and y'all pretty much may not even notice that I've been wearing the same pants over and over again, because the outfit gonna change. Like, what y'all don't realize is, bro, you can literally wear your favorite pair of pants on Monday, and then Wednesday come, you may not have nothing to wear, and you can wear your favorite pair of pants again on Wednesday. All you gotta do is change the graphic tee that you wore from Monday, switch the accessories, change the bag. There's just a lot that you can do with this piece to style it a completely different way and a lot of people will not know that you have already wore this piece and that's gonna be your personal uniform. So if y'all can find a personal uniform, I guarantee you, bro, this is really gonna change the outlook on how you see fashion, how you see the clothes that you like and how y'all dress, bro, because Outfit's gonna become effortless. You're just gonna be able to put that shit on anytime without having to worry of you coming up out the house not liking what you wear. So y'all boy gotta find a personal uniform. Once y'all find a personal uniform, I'm telling y'all, but dress up gonna get mad easy. Actually, for my next pointer, my next pointer is gonna be another cliche one, and it's going to be thrift, bro. Now, bro, a lot of people tend to think if you buy designer, that that means you can dress when in reality, buying designer and how much you spent on something in fashion has nothing to do with your personal style. And then I'm about to say this real quick. A lot of people that focus on buying designer and how much they spent on a piece, in reality, bro, I'm here to tell you, you cannot dress, bro, and that's coming from Ty Not Rich. I'm telling you, you cannot dress, my boy. That don't mean you know how to dress because you can go spend a thousand dollars on a pair of Balenciagas over somebody that's gonna go to, let's say they go to the clothing warehouse in Atlanta and they spent $50 on a pair of boots. I guarantee you this person that spent that $50 on this pair of boots can create a better outfit with these thrifted boots over this, over these $1,000 Balenciagas that you bought, bro. Like, come on, bro. Y'all boys gotta go thrift, bro. Get up out that mind. 
Y'all gotta get up out that mind that just because you spent a thousand dollars on something that it's gonna be better than somebody spending fifty dollars on something. It's about how you go about it, about how you rock it. Because, like I said, nowadays a lot of people just want designer because it's designer and it costs a lot, bro. When in reality, bro, y'all folks cannot dress at all. Y'all don't have a personal style. Y'all don't got a personal uniform. Y'all not being yourself, bro, because half of y'all know that y'all cannot afford the lifestyle that y'all trying to live right now. So that's what I'm saying. Like y'all got to go thrifting, bro, because once y'all go thrifting, bro, that's really going to give y'all that time to break down and find out what you actually like and what you want to bring to the table when it comes to your fashion like a lot of people feel like thrifting going thrifting is you're wearing secondhand and clothing that's disgusting when in reality it's not disgusting because like i told y'all bro fashion is about expressing yourself without saying a word um and when you're thrifting bro you're buying clothes that somebody else has already had in their style and they're pretty much they pretty much gave it to the thrift store because it's not them no more they didn't like it or whatever that's helping you add something into your wardrobe that you can feel like can work with your style if that makes any sense like fashion is all about having fun helping others find their style while you're finding your personal style as well and you do that throughout thrifting bro thrifting is like this is like one of my go-to spots when i just want to be alone bro i go to the thrift store and just look through items 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 until i find pieces that i actually like and pieces that resonate with me bro thrifting is mad fun bro like if y'all have not been thrifting i highly suggest that y'all go thrifting now in atlanta the best spots to hit in thrifting is probably you're gonna probably have to go to the city for that bro like go to uh love five points all that they got like a bunch of thrift stores and love five points clothing warehouse they got a bunch of stuff that y'all can go thrifting and find a bunch of different cool pieces that y'all never thought that y'all would wear and y'all can add that into y'all style bro and i guarantee you bro you're gonna start to like the way you dress once y'all start buying these secondhand clothing and stop worried about how much you actually spent on a piece because like I told y'all fashion has nothing to do with spending money it has to do with you expressing yourself without saying a word that's one of the biggest sayings in fashion if you're really into fashion I'm pretty hurt pretty sure that y'all heard the saying fashion is about you expressing yourself without saying a single word and you can do that throughout thrifting and if y'all get out the mindset that i spent a thousand dollars on this and that may that means i got drip when in reality that does not mean you have drip all right y'all so that indeed is gonna wrap up today's video y'all let me know in the comments down below if this video did indeed help y'all find the way that y'all want to dress gave y'all a little bit more information about fashion that y'all didn't know let me know in the comments down below and like i always say if you're new and you like fashion you like art you like music and you just like any aspect of life go ahead and hit the red subscribe button also hit that like button down below so more people that like fashion can get recommended to the channel and they can join you on this new journey and they can also join me on this new journey and go tap in on my instagram like i said i got some flicks dropping soon and i got some fashion content coming to the instagram real soon we finna get mad active on the instagram we finna get active on the tiktok and we finna get more active on the youtube even though I'm going to say this, even though I know a lot of y'all that subscribe to the channel, y'all not watching the videos, it is what it is. If you're not watching my videos, oh well, I'm going to keep posting my videos and keep posting what I want to post. Y'all ain't got to watch it because we're going to go up all 2022. God got something planned for me, bruh, and I know we're going to take out this year. So if y'all missing out on all the videos, so be it. So like I said, that indeed is going to wrap up today's video. Me, but Ty Gates, I'm not rich and I'm going to catch y'all on my next video.